But let's have a look at Antoine Beauchamp and why he said disease is born in us and of us. He spent most of his life looking through a microscope. Six times professor, most of us will never get to one. <laughs> Six times professor, this guy. He knew his stuff. And he got a dead cat one day doing an experiment. Got a, got a dead cat, wrapped it in an airtight container. Now, what happens if a cat dries in the bush? I'll tell you what happens in Australia. The dung beetles come up, the blowflies lay their eggs and the maggots start to eat it up. The kookaburra has a nibble, the crow has a nibble, the dingo has a nibble. These are all the vultures, isn't it? The scavengers that help to bring matter back to dust. But Antoine Beauchamp, airtight container, no dung beetles, no worms, airtight container. After four months, he opened the container and the cat was dust. So what brought cat back to dust? The ultimate cell damage is death. So when the cat died, the microorganisms that played an integral role of living running cat took off their uh, suit of clothes, so to speak, and put their rubber gloves and apron on and became the garbage collectors, the cleanup team. As the environment changed, the exterminators. As the environment changed, the undertakers. Till eventually, cat was back to dust. What does the preacher say at the funeral? Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. What's he referring to? He's referring to the fact that in that coffin, soon that matter will come back to dust. It's the cycle of life. With great excitement, Antoine Beauchamp took the dust, put it under a microscope. It was alive with microorganisms. From the dead cat. Remember the basic law of science? Nothing's created and nothing's destroyed. It just changes form. And this is why we have compost bins. Here's a plant in my garden at Misty Mountain. We have three compost bins at Misty Mountain. And we put scraps from the kitchen. We put weeds from the garden. We like to alternate scraps from the kitchen and the, especially the corn stalks and the broccoli stalks. Keeps it a little bit more aerated and I put the compost into my soil. I always put compost in before I put another crop in. What am I putting into my soil when I put compost in? I'm putting in microorganisms. So I have three compost bins at home. They're about a yard by a yard. We call it a meter by a meter. One I'm adding to. One is sitting, waiting for the cycle of life to bring all the matter back to dust. The third compost bin, I know it's ready because tomato plants are coming up out of it, pumpkin plants are coming, and sometimes pawpaw plants are coming out of it. And I've got a photograph of me squatting in the compost bin, not, not the other two, the one that's back to dust, and I'm smelling, and it smells like beautiful earth. It's ready to go into my garden, and it's full of microorganisms. 